What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the ES Sedan a little bit more because my buddy club shifter box showed up. Now I wasn't going to be out here today because I woke up with a massive headache and um, I took some medication and stuff to hopefully ease it out the rest of the day. Last night I was editing a video and I kept passing out getting all drowsy and then I finally just jumped into bed without finishing and uh, went to sleep. Now if you guys have long hair, if you guys tie it up all the time like I do, uh, I just jumped into bed, went straight to sleep, woke up this morning with a headache because the hair tie was pressed up against my head and uh, I guess when you're just sleeping deprived and you sleep for a long period of time you don't really notice it until you wake up I literally slept at two alarm clock got up and I was like man today is not it but as I was getting ready for the morning my package showed up and I was like you know what let's do a let's do a basic review slash install on this buddy club shifter I'm not gonna lie to you guys man JHP USA has nice deals and everything but then the shipping when you start checking it out the shipping is like an arm and a leg so I went searching and searching and searching from the initial uh, shift the box cable install video and I finally found one on eBay that had free shipping eBay is really good for having free shipping from a lot of these companies and uh, this right here is from MA performance uh, map this one was like hundred and thirty three dollars shipped and uh, literally like fifty dollars off if I was to buy it off a different website so this showed up cut away from yourself not towards yourself. I bought the shifter because the one that's in the car is the factory R6 shifter box. And uh, it is a white unit. And uh, it's like a sore eye. When you look into the entire like interior, it's all blue. And then you have this white shifter box. A lot of you guys were like, oh, you should dye it or you should paint it. Or man, we got packing peanuts in here. So the thing about the Buddy Club shifter is that one, I like it because it's a black unit. Two, it is a shorter shifter than the RSX, which means the shift knob doesn't sit as high now that we're on the base plate. And three, it's an adjustable short shifter. So the package right here, Buddy Club, you can see it. And then the unit itself literally has no packing inside of here. The shifter box. This is the adjustable part to it. The shifter is definitely shorter. I can see it. And this looks really good, really good. It comes with full on probably Durlin or plastic um, bushings right here for the mounting points. I don't know if I can take that out. Nope, you cannot take that out. So I'm not gonna be using the billet aluminum one that it's currently in the car. But um, yeah, I wanna do a little install video for you guys with the shifter box. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys um, with the shift knob on from the shifter box to the top of the knob, we're at 10 inches. I'm gonna put the measuring tape on the top where the nut is at for the uh, shift knob. I'm gonna put it on six. The throw is gonna be longer on the top of the shifter opposed to it being on the bottom. So I'm gonna put it on six, shift it forward. Man, that's almost a two inch throw. Six, five, four, back to six. Almost an eight, probably like seven and a half. But either or, the throw is pretty far, right? So I'm gonna pull the shifter box off. There goes that cotter pin. First and foremost, the hardware that came with the billet adapter plate right there does fit the Buddy Club unit. So it goes on. It does have that little lip on the inside that prevents the hardware from going straight through. So we can retain that, but we cannot use the billet hardware. Then again, these are pretty solid and not the uh, rubber bushing. So regardless, it's gonna be nice and firm. So if I put both shift the box facing the back here, 
I do notice that this is shorter than the RSX shift box. So if I put it right there, we're at seven inches. If I put it over here, we are six, a little under six and a quarter, six and one eighth. So definitely shorter and uh, obviously less of a sore eye because dirty white box versus the black unit looking fire. I do also notice that the adjustment point for the shifter does have little ridges right there. So when you tie it down, it should clamp it and prevent it from moving. Um, but I was told that these loosen up over time unless you use some Loctite or something. What I'm going to try to do is make something to go in between right here because I am going to have it on the high setting for short throw. I'm going to put something right here in the middle to prevent it from going down later in the future. So let me set it all up real quick and then we'll get this box installed. So hear me out real quick. I'm comparing both shifter box, the Buddy Club and the Type S unit on the stock throw versus the short throw. So because we're going to be doing the short throw, I'm going to set this adjuster at the high point because that's the uh, short throw where if you put it at the very bottom, it's the factory throw, the long throws. So I made this little piece right here out of aluminum and this pretty much just fits in the gap that we're going to have when we set it on the high setting. So I'm going to go ahead and just press it in a little bit because this is aluminum, this is galvanized steel, and I really don't want to weld it just in case I need to move it later down the road. So I made this aluminum piece a little snug so we can ensure that it won't fall out later. But even if it does, I'm sure this will hold up perfectly fine as long as you, um, you know, tighten it down enough. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the little adjuster. Don't forget the washer. And then the Allen screw. Okay, that's just enough. You don't want to over tighten that. You don't want to strip it, but we should be good. All right, let's get the shift box reinstalled. Everything lines up. Looking good, looking good. My impact is set to one, so we're not going crazy with the Uggas here because it is plastic. All right. Shift box installed. Now let's go ahead and put the cables on. Go ahead and put the shift knob on. Put the nut. I'm gonna bottom it out, but make sure that the numbers are correctly facing forward towards me. Okay, so. Measurement once again, shift the box to the top of the knob, nine inches, where the last one was 10. And then we're gonna measure the short throw, high setting on the adjuster. I'm gonna put it at six, five, seven. So from the last shifter, it went from six to four, and then six to seven and a half. Definitely a short throw. And I will tell you that just by how it feels right now, I'm gonna like this. I'm, re I'm really gonna like this. All right. Before I put the center console on, I wanted to show you guys the sticker right here. I somehow missed it. It says Buddy Club. Looks pretty cool, but I think my center console is going to actually block that. So let's go ahead and get the console back on. I take that back. The sticker is exposed, and I'm stoked about that. 
the shifter box is looking freaking amazing in here opposed to the white rsx type s shifter box i'm loving this so much more and uh my mom took off so you know what that means we're gonna drive this car around the block and really see how that shifter feels let's get to it i need to order the battery relocation kit because i don't have any more cables to route this to the rear but i might change it if i have space in the front bumper because i know the ef sedan front bumper is longer than the hatch we might have space to put the 51 r up in the front bumper and use like post terminals onto the side of the frame rail inside the engine bay so we can have access to the post but for right now it's just going to sit here because we're not officially driving the car just yet now i was trying to see if i had anything to make a center plate for the console here right just so we can block all that off i don't have any like lexan or abs plastic big enough for this center console i was going to use this as a reference but obviously you guys can see it's literally missing a chunk of it um if i do make one i need to figure out how i'm going to mount it too because the mounting for this is a little bit weird so um we're not going to build anything for the console i'm not really too worried about it i can probably stuff i don't know a t-shirt in here or something a black t-shirt just to kind of hide everything shit you know what that might not even be a bad idea this thing literally turns on just like my krx This shifter feels freaking awesome. So you know what I find super funny? I was going through my YouTube videos, just kind of binge watching some old builds and uh, I came across my brother's car when I did the K-swap in it. And let me show you guys the funny part. He has the stock CRV shift box in his car and apparently it's covered up, but his shift box is actually in the center console like i didn't chop the center console other than for the lever and stuff his console is not two piece like mine where the front half is chopped off his console hides his shifter box mostly because i couldn't show you guys right there i'll try to put a little clip of when i put his shifter box together right now um also i have my jdm center console in place right here and it fits over the shifter box just this upper shift cable is in the way of this uh thing here i might just take this off slide this underneath and i think it'll be all right so we'll figure that out it looks like the civic wagon center console is wider and it's funny because i actually have his original brown one uh, sitting up there while my spare wagon is in his car, which is blue But um, I'm probably gonna end up looking for a Civic wagon center console and see if it works in my car And if it does cool, we'll we'll have a full center console that hides the box But if it doesn't fit I'm not worried about it because the buddy club shifter definitely uh, blends in a lot now with the interior So not a main priority a quick little short install on the buddy club shifter box really loving how much it changes the interior of Opposed to the factory white shift box and um, I got it off eBay man about hundred and thirty five dollars free shipping and uh, definitely feels really nice to have that short throw in there there is a different option if you wanted to do a short throw on like the RSX shift box 
Funny story, I actually found this in the junkyard. New speed, part number 1209. You adapt this to the factory shift box, which then uh, allows you to bring the shift point higher for the cable and give you a short throw. But because I didn't want the white unit in the, the car, um, that's why I didn't opt to use this. I love that the Buddy Club shifter is also one inch shorter, so my hand is not resting super high as if I had an extended shifter. And uh, overall, I'm loving it. 135 bucks can't beat the price can't beat the looks and uh you know hopefully we can uh smack some gears when we do some all-wheel drive launches in the previous video i did show you guys that we had a giant box that came from bull boost performance sitting on the floor right there i still need to go to the storage unit to pick up some items pertaining to the installation of that because now i know what it is you know what i'm saying and uh we're gonna have to uh slide over to the storage unit hopefully in the next couple of days so with that being said, guys, we're going to end the video off right here. I hope you enjoyed the Buddy Club Shift the Box installation and the difference between the two units. If you guys did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to stick around for more EF Sedan update, I'm still waiting on my buddy to see if his car is going to show up here or not to do some other things on the driveway. If you guys want to stick around and see what's going on with that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.